So we're going to do a video demo of uh, an eye drawn in color with pastel. <clears throat> so one of the, and I've said this before in other videos, um, with pastels they start in pencil. And so that's a, as I said, that's a mistake. You should always start, start in pastel. Now if you're more comfortable with pencils, just buy pastel pencils, uh, which I have and I'll, I'll be using in this demo. Um, but the, the graphite and the um, pastel don't work well together. And so you don't want to immediately hinder yourself. So I'm just starting with a, a, a loose sketch. Um, and I'm starting with a block pastel. Uh, it is just a generic earth tone, skin tone. Um, whatever you want to call it, uh, never get sucked into the the trap of just drawing with what you think is the obvious skin tone color. Um, this generic peach color that they'll include, the generic brown that they'll include um, in pastel sets or in any other colored material sets. Um, don't be limited by those. And otherwise, um, what you should keep on hand is a, a blending stub of some sort. Um, usually I have a couple different sizes. Here's a large font. So I'm, I'm going to switch over to uh, uh, time capture and uh, work on this, plug away on this.
So you can see one of the last things that I did was add dark darks. Um, and that's generally the case. A, a good rule for any medium is wait until the end to add your darkest darks um, and your highlights. You don't want to add those in early. The highlights you're just going to lose anyway. So if you put those in in the beginning, um, they're going to blend out anyway. They're, you're going to lose those and you're going to have to reestablish those anyway. So no reason to put those in early. Um, and the darks, you don't want them muddying your colors because they'll just start blending in with everything. And so I'm just looking back. I could spend a long time on this drawing if I wanted to. Um, but it's, it's good enough for right now. Um, and then at the end, always with um, pastel, you're gonna go in and spray it with a fixative of some sort um, so that it doesn't continue moving around on the page when you don't want it to. Um, you know, you can periodically spray with a workable fixative as you work on your drawing. Um, I'm just going to add a little more dark up here and then call it quits. Alright, I think I'm about done. I'm gonna quit. Hope that helps. Stay safe and have fun drawing.